try to get my um, iPad up so that I can see the chat. You can go ahead and chat if you like. Um, I'm just trying to get this all up. I'm trying to get the chat. Are you guys hearing that feedback or is it hey, just hi, me? Hi, This is Laura. How are you? I'm just trying to get set up. Um, let me get my, I'm going to try to get my, um, iPad up so that I can see the chat. You can go ahead and, anybody here? Hi. Um, I just wanted to, I have a new camera. I'm trying to get it to, um, get set up and I'm trying to figure this all out so I hope you'll be bear with me it's a webcam and um, first time I'm using it so I'm just trying to get used to it and see it in the chat okay so the first thing that I want to do is I want to thank everybody who comes and anybody who is subscribed to my channel I appreciate that that's really uh really something for me to do i like that pearl thank you for subscribing that's really nice of you to do that i hope that you're on um i am going to put it on the chat here thank you i'll just let you know a little bit about me i am by trade a seamstress i got a little I'm getting the feedback from my camera here, so I've got to turn the volume off. I am um, a seamstress by trade, and um, but I've gotten into mixed media thanks to Stacey Evans. Uh, she has brought me through, and also thanks to Emily Welda and Ray. They have um, really showed me a lot of things, and there's so many people. Danina, you name it. They're all there. Uh, and um, I wanted to go over my happy mail, see how it works on the camera, see how things are doing. Um, this is the card I got from Rose Claudel, and it's really pretty. I like it, and it's got boats and stuff. I also, she has sent me the fabric swap that they had done on the card rack, um, and this is the card that she sent me. It is really beautiful, and the fabric is um an open weave and it's not it's not a linen but it's a little thicker than a linen but it looks um almost like a fabric that you would use when you're doing cross stitching or knitting or one of those ones she stitched on it and she's put the fibers of felt flowers on with little stones and the bird and it's really beautiful and, and it's a postcard thing. So thank you, Rose. I really love it. It goes on my, I have a gratitude wall and I took it out the gratitude wall so that I could show it. I wanted people to see your work. It's really beautiful. I like it very much. Thank you. So that's the first thing that I have. And then the second thing that I have is another um, 
postcard and this one's from the art bar and this is from Kendra and she sent it to me and then this is it here I'm trying to get this even I'm, I'm trying to figure it out I'm looking one way and shooting another so okay there we go um and it's also got a little bird on it it's painted and stamped and it says live every moment laugh every day love beyond words may you always be happy um, there's another saying here, but I can't read it. And there's another one. Follow your heart. Take bravery. And it is a postcard. And it's really, I'm not going to put her address, but there it is. It's really nice. That also is up on my gratitude wall. And I really, really, really love it. Thank you very much, Kendra. Um, I've had all these things here for a while. I've been wanting to film it and thank everyone but I just have been gotten waiting for my husband to um, tell me about um, getting me a camera. And for my birthday, he got me a new laptop and a web camera. And so I'm ready to go. I'm not sure how well I'm going to do. I still have to look on YouTube and take some classes on how to run everything. But I just thought I'd let you know. Um, this is the card I received. And this is from Ray. And it's. Uh, really pretty that she painted it and she put ribbon on it and stamps and a stamp still looked like a real stamp on there and she sent it and she even put stuff on here on the front of it it's Independence Day and 4th of July and I really love it I love the colors on it so thank you Ray for that one also is on my gratitude and these are the things that she made it was a swap that we did it was a tag swap and this is everything that Ray sent me. So we'll go with the first one here. It's a little card with a young patriotic little girl done on an ATC with some burlap on it. And it's almost like a, a cluster with ribbon on it. It's really, really pretty. I like it. I love that. I love 4th of July. I just got myself a 4th of July um, vest that I saw at um, um, a clothing closet that is at our church sponsors to give out clothes that I volunteer and work there. And it was uh, so cute. My daughter saw it. She goes, I know my mom's going to pick it up. Yep, I picked it up. It's mine. Here's another little cluster on a card. And it has some paper that says, like, we the people in order to the Constitution there. And we have an eagle and some fabrics and some yarns and, and some ribbons and some washi tape and some paint. And it's stitched on. She has stitched it on there. It's really cool. These are very pretty. I love the artwork on them. Thank you, Ray. And, oh, I'm sorry, Pearl, you were, you were, um, camping. I'm really sorry that you had a, you're exhausted, but I bet you had a lot of fun. I love to go camping. Um, I want to do that when we retire. I want to go all over. I want to get a motor home and, and the, me and my husband and just take off and go see the world. Go see New York. Go see Yellowstone, go go all over. I just I've always wanted to do that, and I still want to. So it's still in there a go for me. This is another one that she made. I love this one. It's so textured, and it's it's got depth in it, and fireworks, and fabric that she stitched, and sparklies, and it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. These are, I'm going to keep these and put them out on the holidays, like Memorial Day, Labor Day, Fourth of July, Flag Day. All those days, these are all going to go out and be put up in my house. And this is the big tag that she's done, and it's got some steampunk on it. I hope you can see it. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up closer. I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, oh, I know what I can do. I'm supposed to be able to click this down, but... I'm not going to fool with it because I really don't know how to do that. Um, clicking it down and stuff, but maybe it'll work. Let me try. Okay, let's go 
down this way or this way. No, I'm not seeing it work. So I got to still figure that out. I got to figure out how to be able to uh, do it with the mouse to do the camera down and up. Um, and it's got some pom-poms on it and some stars. And there's some metallic stars that are along the edge here and some more burlap and some aluminum. Um, it looks just like some aluminum uh, type of metal on there. That's really great in America. And then the steampunk here. And she stamped it, stenciled it. Looks like there's paper underneath. And really gorgeous. And it's really big. Almost looks like an eagle's wing right here. Really, really, really pretty. I like that. That's my first steampunk. I have never had steampunk. I've never been really into it, but it's really, really pretty. So thank you. And then this one here. I really like this. I think I'm going to put this inside a journal. This is really nice. It's a big piece. It's stitched on. It has lace. It's got sparkle, um, sparkle um, stars on it with like little clusters of uh, starbursts around it. Some red trim fabric. Fabric. There's a small tag inside which is stitched around with material on there, and it's got a back side that has stars on it really really nice I like that and then it's got another tag here which fireworks on it really really cool and inside that there's another one in here that has like watermelon and who doesn't eat watermelon on the 4th of July I do Most, one of the very memories I have as a child is we used to go to a park with my family and um, I would go down there and eat um, I would eat watermelon for the watermelon contest. I would win. I just had to eat as much as I can. I do believe I did have stomach aches later on in the night for eating so much, but I had to win. And my face and my clothes had watermelon all over them. But it's a good memory when I see that because that's what I remember about the 4th of July. Okay, I'm gonna look at the chat to tucson and when we were in tucson going down there we saw a civil war reenactment going on and that was really cool to watch that they were all in their costumes and everything was really really cool so the next thing that i have is um from stacy evans from the pink poodle class and i took a class with her um a few months ago and we were learning how to um, decorate CDs and uh, DVDs that were um, to redo them. And so she had made this during the class. And I had to leave before the class was over. And um, there was a drawing and I wanted a drawing and she sent it to me. So this is an original from Stacy. She put a heart. These are just paper flowers, I believe, but she put um, gesso and all kinds of stuff on them. And this was a trim, and it's really, really hard. Like, it doesn't feel like trim anymore. It feels almost metally, and it's really hard and stuck in there. And it's flowers with the heart, and it's really pretty, and can hang it up. So I didn't hang it up yet because I was waiting to show this on my YouTube channel. So this is going up on my gratitude wall, too. I will be hanging that. I like that. It's really beautiful. Reminds me of Mother's Day. Reminds me of my mom. So it's really pretty. Thank you, Stacy. And with that that she gave me, Stacy is so kind. She's always adding little bits and things back into, um, into she has sent me some photos of some vintage pictures of ladies. There's one there that looks boho. I like that one. I can see that going into a gypsy journal. And this is 
my old Hollywood movie styles, 1920s, I would call that one, and kind of a Victorian-ish one. And then there's um, pictures more of old Victorian styles that I plan to be using. I love the lady with this tall cigarette thing on there. And I remember my mother, she used to smoke, and she used to always kind of have those type of cigarettes with the tall things. And I would um, play with it, but couldn't smoke I, I would just get the tall stick and pretend I was smoking. And that's what it's for the I got because I have asthma, so that thing didn't happen. And she sent me a cluster which says collect beautiful moments. Lots of little pretty papers in there. That will go in a journal somewhere when I make it. Stacy, thank you very much. You have a very kind heart. And I love the pictures. They will be used. Oh, Pearl, that's really cool. Did you do you have pictures of your father during the Civil War? Because if you do, you should take some of those pictures and make them with journals. That would be really great. Oh, and I also got this one, Stacy. It's a little um a little heart um clip, paper clip. Well, this one here is from Kelly Rickman. And Kelly Rickman is um, one of my block swap partners from Melissa's group. And this is the stuff she sent me. So I'm just going to start laying things out here so you can see them. That's like a circle, but it looks kind of like a, like it could be from the solar system of some sort. She sent me butterflies. Oh, look at that one. That one's beautiful. Painted, fl painted flower butterflies. Those are pretty. Here's a cluster from her. Oh, I like that. I have not made clusters yet. I still, I got to get with it. Um, there's a butterfly there. And another butterfly. Pearl, how is the sound? Can you hear me good enough? I, I want to know if I've got this set up good enough that you can see. Are you able to see this good enough or is it fuzzy? Another butterfly. A little tag with the heart on it with... um. Looks like M&M's. On there, that's really cool. It's just memorable, pretty. I like that. Oh, it'll be funny. That's gonna go in her um, in her page. Ooh, and a painted paper. Um, it kind of feels like a deli paper that she stamped on. I think this is the right way it goes. Very pretty. Another butterfly. And some trims. Oh, thank you, Pearl. It's new, and I. It took me a couple of days ago trying to figure this out how to put it on, and it's supposed to be able with the mouse to be able to click down and to bring it back up. But I guess I don't know how to do that yet. I will have to figure that out. I'm going to have to take some YouTube classes and some pink eyelash and some different color eyelash and some yellow um, ribbon that's lacy. Very pretty. And we have here some tissue paper stamped on with some orchids on there. Very pretty. And... Some more paper stamped with words on it. Now that I've got this open, now I can work on them. And some painty papers. Beautiful colors on there. I like the feel of them. Oh, and here's some more circles of the universe. They're cool. The moon. That will look cool on that paper. I like that. 
and here's the card from her telling a little bit about herself so um that will go in i will make a i will make a bucket and i will put that in the pocket with i have all the things that she likes she likes coffee cup crafts cook she is in facebook on coffee cup crafts conversation and she's on youtube as cup coffee cup crafts with kelly um so she has written down some of the things that she likes what she's gonna do she just has some known facts that she has put on here about herself and um so like i said this will go in her flacker page and this is a picture oh that's that is from someone else i'm sorry <laughs> that is my nephew <laughs> was with a, i don't know how that got in there um and here's some more painted papers shimmer this is shiny paper that's a nice one and beautiful papers i hope i can get all of these in on their page Oh, look at, she stamped but, um, butterflies or fairies on there, on a page, a paper page. So that's really cool. Hi, Mama Boo, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Thank you for watching. I'm just opening up some blocker mail, uh, swap mail, so that um, I got a new web camera and a new laptop, and I'm trying it out for the first time seeing how it goes i still need to learn how to adjust the um up and down on the camera so i can do close-ups um right now i tried and it didn't happen so i'm going to have to have to figure it out here's some more paper this paper feels like rice paper it's pretty yes her papers are really pretty yeah, I don't know if she did it on a jelly plate or if she just sprayed, but it really feels really nice. I like that. And she sent me some. This is from Kelly Rickman. Oh, this was definitely going to get used on her page. It's her coffee. And it also is either tissue paper or deli paper. Um, and it's was really good. I like that. That I think that's the first one to go on our page. And a piece of, of some lace. It's really pretty. So I will have to figure out how to do that. And then this is her envelope that she's done. And that's where I'll make the pocket out of so that I can put her um, letter in there. So those are all from Kelly. And let me get all the small pieces on here. Kelly, I will try to do the best I can on it and make sure that it's a pretty, pretty one for you. Okay. This one that I'm opening up now is from Tammy Ward. She's also a, one of my locker partners. And... I'll let you see that because that's just my address, but that's her um, address envelope that she set with the llamas on it. It's really, really cute, really cute. And then the back side of her paper, of her envelope that she addressed, looks like it was put with napkins on. Really pretty. I like it. So that's really cool. I will, I'm going to have to use that. I don't know how, but I'm going to have to use that, definitely. So, <laughs> this is a little tag, a uh, cardboard tag that looks like a letter. It's really, really cute. I'll come closer up so that you guys can see it. It has the postmark and the stamps on it, and it's left open. It's really cute. I like that. That's neat. I wonder if she made that with the stamp. Tammy, you're going to have to tell me how you made that. And we have here some 
golden little flowers that are glittery. Looks like they would be in a fairy garden. Those are beautiful. Look at those. Those are pretty. That's beautiful. That's going to be fun to put on. And a metal butterfly with some sparklies on it, which look like rhinestones. Really pretty. That's going to go in there. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some pretty work here. Those are gorgeous. Ah, I see a butterfly bird theme here. This is cool. This feels like she did this on vinyl, like she stamped it on vinyl. It has the texture to it, but it's real pliable. It could even be a magnet. I wonder if it's a magnet because it's it's got back background like it could be a magnet. I'm gonna I have anything metal in here to to try it on. But that's beautiful. That's really cool. I like that. And we have some chant to put on her envelope on her package. And We have a uh, Rosetta put on there. Really nice. It's got a, a sticky thing on it so we can just stick that on. Um, a wooden button. Um, well, it actually looks wooden, but it's not. It's plastic, but it looks wooden. Uh, that's cool. Oh, this is going to be fun to do this one. It really is. Oh, and there's some initials on there. Letters and a piece of card. I can make something with that and put some things on there and put that on there. Look, I'm already designing. That's cool. Look at that. Look at that. I can just see making things with that. That's awesome. This is um, tissue paper. And it Really pretty. More tissue paper, clear tissue paper. More. Doily. A little small envelope. Look at that, that's really cool. Okay, thank you, Kathy. Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping by. It'll be up after I'm done. I will have it put up afterwards so those who are in can come by. If you cannot forget to do a like and a subscribe, that would be awesome. Thank you very much. And here's um, some more. Oh, these are pretty. Small little um, pockets. That's cool. Put things in. Another one. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and then a little tag. Hey, this is uh, made out of um, a pink chip. Really cool. I like that. Cool color. And another and a tag here. So I can add some more things. Oh, this is going to be really decorative. Look at that. That's cool. I like that pattern on there. I wonder if she had a stencil. Uh, and a flocker chicken. Have to put that because this is a flocker book. We'll have to put some flocker chickens on there. That's cool. Now, all different too. Different chickens. I don't know how much I'm going to have room in that uh, composition book. It's not all that big. But we will put in, and the little sign that says, remember this. Kelly, this, I mean, Tammy, this is awesome. And I got a page. Um, 
That's some kind of a government page with paintings on it, splashes of color. Really cool. And it's really cool with some glitters on it. Thank you. And an empty page, so ask more, do some more on there. Another napkin of uh, apples. Wow, this one's really cool. And with butterflies. I'm going to have a hard time deciding how to create this. There's just so much in there. Love that napkin. That's really cool. Pretty. Oh, I didn't see the gold in there till you open it up. Then you can see it in the silver. That's awesome. I see Cinderella in this one. I can just see the carriage and the writing and the royalty of it. That's really cool. And there's also some washi tape so that I can decorate with. Wow, that is really, really, really cool, Tammy. Thank you very much. I'm going to put yours over here so that I don't get mixed up with the other one. And, and I have received another postcard and then this postcard is from Mildred Viega and it was for the um, 4th of July yeah I am behind but like I said I didn't have a really good camera I had the iPad and my phone and it just was not working for me I couldn't get it to go right I couldn't see it I couldn't hear anything uh, I told my husband I really need this so he asked me what I wanted I said, for, for my birthday and for Christmas, you can get a um, laptop and a camera and get that going. And he did. So I've already received my, um, I have already received my Christmas present. But you know what? Christmas in July, right? Or Christmas in August. Yeah. So that's really cool. So there's that one. I like that. I hope you can see it. My iPad is not showing the colors very well. And for me to see, but the laptop, when I turn my head to look at it, it looks okay. And can I get these up lower so I can have them separate? And then this postcard is from Kendra, and it's from the art bar. And that one is pretty. These are up in my um, gratitude wall. I have a wall there where I have a string pinned up and I have pins on there. And when I get happy mail and stuff, I put it up there and enjoy it and look at it and get inspired. So I just have to put these all up there now when I get done. And then this one is another swap that I have with Don Boss. And Don sent me um, um, ATCs and some tags. So here's your little ATC tag that she sent me. And it's got paper and Mod Podge and washi tape. And that's really cool. I like that one. Now, my ATCs, I put them up on the gratitude wall, but then I, after they're, they've been up a while, I put them in my ATC book. And so everybody's are in there in my ATC book, and they're um, really, really great. It's a, you know what? It's a really good thing to put on your coffee table. And when people come over, they just like, well, what's that? And you open it up, and you let them see, and you show them all the different ones that everybody's made. And it's really cool. It's a good conversation piece, you know. And try to tell them, well, what do you see in it? What do you what do you like about it? So it's really cool. I like that. So there's that one. And then here's her first tag she sent me. 
And it's got like a little tile that's a smile on that. That's really cool. I don't know where she got that. But I'm trying to see where I can get this. Um, it's got um, circles that are cut out out of, um, it looks like a die cut of some sort. I don't have a die cut that does that circle like that, but that's really cool. And then it has um, has a little tag of paper on here with a paper clip. Goes right there. Those are neat. I like them when they're really big. You could even add more stuff to them if you wanted. Here's another one with a big button on it, and it looks like she used the button to make circles and looks like stencils. And this kind of feels like um, like tickets, like there was some form of a ticket on there. I can see them. And then this one here is butterflies, and they're layered on there. And it seems to be on paper that some kind of a, a liturgy of a, of a church or something on there, which is really pretty. The things and some more of the little circles, die cut circle cutouts. So those are really, really beautiful. And I'm liking that very much. And those were in her thing. And so I want to thank everybody who sends me happy mail. I It's greatly appreciative. Greatly. Very much. It makes my day. It makes me feel good inside. And it makes me happy. And I, I like to send happy mail too. And so I think that's really what I have for today. I thank you. I hope to do more videos after I get this to learn a little bit more how to set up so that you can see me, I can see you, um, figure out how to do all that um, and get that going. You're, thank you, Pearl. Thank you for stopping by. If you haven't um, um, been to my channel before and you liked what you see, give me a thumbs up and, and hit the subscribe button and the bell I so you can get notifications. I am going to try to do um, more videos now that I do have my web camera. Um, I am going to be making um, some videos and content that have to do with sewing and crafts because I do sew and I do do crafts. So um, and I like to go over that with everybody and show them um, some tutorials on on sewing items and simple things and how it can be implemented in our crafting. So stay tuned for that. And I want once again want to thank you for showing up. And anybody who sees this afterward, um, make me a comment down there. Tell me how you liked it. What can I do to improve it so that I can get this critiqued a little bit better and know what I'm doing because I'm learning with you guys. Thank you again, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, Pearl. Have a good day. Bye-bye.